Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. The waters roll past our sleeping heads Just as us, they wage their war They steal and fight in the dead all night To fight with their sir The ships are sailing My heart is failing Let's just disappear to hear a simple song that was until you came along now in its place is something new i hear it when i look at you
the simple songs I wanted more. Perfection is so quick to bore. You are more beautiful by far. Our flaws are who we really are. So what did you guys think? Did you like my painting? I don't know how many of you follow me on Instagram, on YouTube, but I did release this piece as a draw this in your style challenge because I was seeing everyone doing it and I was like, oh, I want to get on board with this. It looks so fun. I'll put a link below to the original post so you can check out like the posting guidelines. I will also be giving a print away of the piece to one of the people that enter on Instagram at the end of the month, which is in just over a week now. But yeah, I hope you like this video and seeing like the process. I don't actually do a lot of painting videos anymore. So I mean, I'd love another excuse to paint more. I'm filming on my phone. Sorry if it's like really bad sound, but I think the camera's good. So conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy! We're gonna do a quick Q&A, but before that I just want to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. As per usual, you make my life so much easier. I've already put this piece up on my website, along with a couple of other pieces I did recently, which you guys may not have seen because I, I don't know how many of you follow me on Instagram, but they not only support my channel, but basically they just make my life easier in general. So thank you for existing Squarespace, seriously. If you would like to have an easier life, no, that's like a big claim. If you would like a beautiful website, go to squarespace.com slash peach and you'll get a two week free trial to see if you like it. Um, and if you do like it, you'll get 10% off your first purchase. So check it out. How do you build a community of creatives in your life? Everyone is alone in their studio and totally time poor. So any ideas on how we connect and build a community as artists? We are so lucky to be creative people in this day and age because we literally have a networking device in our pockets. Like if you're watching this, you probably have a means of networking with people, which is incredible. I would suggest being vocal about the people that you like online. And when I say that, I mean like liking, on, liking their stuff, commenting on their stuff, messaging them when they do something that you like of theirs and then also being active and going to like art shows events that have stuff to do with your work go and do those things because you'll meet people that are like-minded and it will be a lot nicer for you to bounce ideas off of people that can understand where you're coming from next question when did you realize that you prefer to do art geared more towards children hey what what that was never mentioned <laughs> yeah i feel like i don't I don't intentionally go, I'm going to make art for kids. It's more like children are really receptive to my work because it's colorful, it's very playful, and it often depicts a world that you can really dive into. And I think kids really like that kind of escapism. But that's not to say that adults don't like it either. It's just not serious. So I don't think it's necessarily cool to like my work, but to change the question a little bit, when did I, when did I feel comfortable making the work that I'm making now? It kind of was when I was like, Fuck what everyone else thinks. I'm just going to make work that I like. And I just happen to like work that resonates with children, which is really good for me because my life goal was to create a children's book. So works for me. <laughs> Lately, I've been hit hard with anxiety and imposter syndrome. I'm almost 28 I've, and have been trying to be an artist most of my life, but I'm starting to feel like it'll never happen. I am my own toughest critic and I've hated everything I've made. Oh, I was hoping you'd have some advice or words of encouragement. You don't have to be a professional artist to be an artist. You don't have to do it full time to make art. If you're making art, you are an artist. So don't worry about that aspect of things. If you are looking to make a career out of it, but you what you're doing makes you feel like shit and also you find that you hate everything that you've made, try new things. Look in other places in terms of other mediums, other styles, find a way to make work that makes you happy because if you're planning on making it into a career you don't want to be stuck with a practice that makes you feel like shit and there's also the aspect of not being so hard on yourself naturally i think we're all the hardest critics on our own work because we we live with the work we live with it long enough to see the flaws so just be aware that other people aren't looking at your work as harshly as you but if you do see something that's obviously something you don't like make a point to fix it if you don't know how to draw faces 
do a bunch of studies, like fill a sketchbook with portraits, do portraits of your friends, do portraits of photos on the internet, do portraits of strangers in the street. Like, you know, you have to be active if you don't like what you're doing, but don't let it get you down to the point where it's like depressive and it's almost destructive to your practice. What do you do when you have a lack of energy or when you're feeling uninspired? I nap. <laughs> When I come home and I'm like, ugh, or when I've been working and I'm like, ugh, not feeling this, I have a 20 minute nap. And then I wake, when I wake up, I'm like, do do do, nothing ever happened. New day for me. My graphic design professor is getting mad at the class for not thinking bigger and for not disrupting people or making them think too deeply about what we've made. But I feel like I just want to make what I like without really caring about that aspect. What are your thoughts on meaning in art and design? My work isn't very deep, but to get to this point, I went through three years of art and design history. I love learning about art history. I love analyzing pieces of work. And I think you can make work that isn't deep and but still means something to you and to also your audience. You should kind of compartmentalize your practice. The stuff you do at school, I think it's important to learn that stuff. Deeper thinking and disruptive thinking is important. If you're going into the design industry, it's important. So I would just explore that and learn how to think about work in that way because it will help you later. That's all for the Q&A. I hope you guys like this video and I will be back soon with a cartoons from memory with Rocky Boy. Well, see you soon. Um, also, was filming on my phone okay? Was the sound okay? I don't know. We'll see. Ryan's doing push-ups over there. I'm trying to do something that's silent. I can't ignore it. <laughs> <laughs>